Congress is predicting that Social Security will be depleted by the year 2035. Watch this. While y'all distracted by everything else, I'm watching the news and I'm trying to understand why Congress keeps saying that Social Security is running out and by 2035, we're not going to have enough for everybody. That's not making sense to me. That math not mathing. Because we all are contributing to Social Security. Every time we get a paycheck, they're taking Social Security and Medicare out of our paychecks. So how is it running out? And I don't understand why it's going into a pool because you already know America don't give everybody their fair share. Honestly, the Social Security that I'm putting in should go into a trust for me. So when I'm 65, I get access to my trust, my money, whatever I put in, whatever work I did from the age of 18 to 65 and the amount of money that I contributed to social security that should go directly to me it shouldn't go into a pool and then that money if I put money into it and by the time I get to it it's spent up I don't get any of it I think it has to do with the government misallocating funds as usual taking all of our money lumping it up into a big uh, bucket and taking out whatever they want to take out and then when it comes to actually giving the money back to the citizens and us having money for retirement they're like oh no we don't have enough yet because y'all don't bottom out the goddamn cash back giving money to different countries putting money up for football stadiums putting money up for all this other stuff other than helping the american people i don't understand why social security does not go into a specific account for each american person the same way they know that how much money we owe to the irs is the same way they know how much money we've contributed to social security and everybody should get their share of whatever they've contributed to social security it should not go into no pool like that doesn't make sense and it doesn't make sense that they're saying that we're going to run out of social security if they're taking money out of everybody's paychecks every single day there's no day that they don't take social security out of somebody's paycheck now this sister is right why is social security depleting if they're taking out social security out of everyone's check and they do take it out i look at my check and faithfully uh social security is coming out of it i mean since i was 12 I've had Social Security taken out of my check, and now I have to work until I'm 62 to get it, and not even all of it, just some of it. I mean, this is really ridiculous. And to me, why can't I save my own money? I don't need the government to save my money because apparently they are not good at taking care of the business of saving my money. So I should be able to save my own money. I have an article here and it says the social security trustees board predicts the agency's reserves will run out in 2035 without action by Congress. Recipients of social security benefits would then only receive 83% of their full benefits. Most Americans agree Social Security is a vital public service and nearly half of seniors count on their Social Security checks for at least 50 percent of their retirement income. Now, those retired seniors, if they had been able to save their own money and put it in some type of IRA or something to collect interest or bonds or whatever, to get to have more on the back end, they wouldn't have to worry about only getting 50% of it. And they take way more than what they give back when it's time for you to retire, by the way. They, they take way more. But they're only giving you a percentage or a small amount. They're not giving you the majority of what you put into it. I believe everyone gets about the same. At one time, they were saying that, hey, you're only gonna, we're only going to go back 10 years of your employment um, to pay you your Social Security. That was something that they had out there at one time. I don't know. I think the law changed because I think so many people went off about it that the law changed back to the 35 year. But anywho, they uh, have been doing this for a long time. At one time, too, the spouses, like, If one spouse passed away, the other would get both theirs and their spouses, their their deceased spouse. Then they changed and said, oh, no, you're going to get the greater of one. One will get if 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 uh, one spouse made more than the other, then you would get whatever that spouse you would get it. Like if, if a husband made more than the wife, then then the 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 living spouse would get. Uh, whatever that spouse earned. And if she made more than him, then she would get what her social security, they stopped, they had stopped giving them both, which is why 
they're having a hard time now because they're not living the same talking to seniors. Uh, of course, they're not living the same as they were when their spouse was alive because they were getting both incomes. And then, so when one passed away, they only going to get the higher of whatever, which one made the most they would get, which is pretty sad because their spouse earned it. Why they can't continue to get what their spouse earned. My take on it is, why are we even um, paying into this? I mean, we can do it ourselves. You know, at one time, the Republicans was trying to do what is called a private uh, Social Security or whatever. Everybody get their Social Security, whatever they put into it, and they can get it and they can do whatever they wanted to with their own money. But of course, the Republicans was fighting hard against that. I have another article here. A few budgetary concepts generated as much unintended confusion and deliberate misinformation as the Social Security trust funds. The trust funds are invested in treasury securities that are just as sound as all other U.S. government securities held by investors around the globe and regarded as being among the world's safest investments. Starting in 2021, Social Security began drawing down trust fund reserves to help pay for benefits. Although Social Security has a long-term financial shortfall that must be closed, the program's combined trust funds will not be depleted until around 2034, which gives policymakers time to develop a carefully crafted financing plan. Well, why did it have a crafted financing plan before then? Why they haven't won now? And still, again, I ask, how is it being depleted? As the young lady said, make it make sense because it's really not making sense. They also stated, too, in another article that not everyone benefited from it. They didn't give everyone those, their social security retirement funds. Cause you know why? Cause a lot of them passed on. <laughs> they didn't even give, I think 70% is what got it. And that was it because a lot of them passed away. So they still have money sitting there. So when you think about them saying, oh, we're going to up the age. Oh, we got we're going to take out more money. Oh, we're going to up the age. Why? Why? Is the young lady right? They're not allocating the funds the way that they need to allocate it. Or is this just a skim and a scam? Anywho, tell me your thoughts on it. I would love to hear from you. And for more content like this. Click subscribe and you can go to Conversations with SDW. See you soon.